Hello everyone, hope that you're well. Right and then, today we are doing a product review of a uh, new trail cam that has just arrived from Amazon. Uh, now it's one of those um, wildlife cameras you set up in your garden, it's got uh, infrared and motion motion sensing, automatic recording and all that sort of business. Uh, they've been around for a few years, I've seen plenty of them on the uh, on Amazon, thought about getting them in the past but uh, now I've got an opportunity to try one, I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd order one. Uh, now our garden's got quite a bit of wildlife running around in it, uh, we get plenty of foxes, hedgehogs, uh, lots of birds, loads of squirrels, loads of big fat pigeons eating all my bird food, uh, and plus uh, me and the dog running around chasing footballs, but uh, hopefully we might be able to set this up somewhere and capture something good, so um, it arrived about 10-15 minutes ago, so um, let's have a look at what's what's inside here, no, uh, no sellotape or security tags on this one, hey, ooh, hey. Thank you, dear customer. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, that's all very good. Now this is um, by Zimochi. Zim, uh, Zimo, Zim O C. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, made in China. Don't actually say the brand name on the uh, on the box. Actually, just a just a label there. But um, no, I'm just reading it now off the Amazon page. Uh, wildlife camera, Zimochi, 16 megapixel, 1080p trail camera, night vision. IP66 waterproof with 120 degrees wide angle lens. Uh, retail price on here is £47.99p. What else have we got in the box then? We have got a uh, quick user guide. So, okay, got uh, how many batteries? Eight batteries, eight batteries, yeah, got, should have those. Um, we have a bit more in depth user guide. I assume this is the camera itself. Okay, and that's the uh, that's the camera itself. What else we got in here? We got about what's that for? Ah, oh, oh, about that's to do to strap it to the uh, to a tree or post or something. Gate post maybe. And there's a uh, USB cable. A uh, I suppose that's to plug it directly into your into your TV set if you want to. Audio visual out and a mount of some description so you can attach it to your house or or something and it looks like a standard uh tripod mount yeah so that will screw onto the bottom of there what's we've got on here anyway. looks like a uh external power source you could plug a uh, mains adapter in which i don't think we get no that's something you have to provide yourself and some fixings to uh, to screw it to your walls i think that's everything and there's a bolt in there as well uh Right then, so what are we getting? Uh, these are all the motion sensors, I assume. Uh, some status lights, that's, that'll be the camera lens itself. Uh, they're, all, they're all covered with uh, plastic peel off, so we'll peel that off once it's uh, set up. I uh, assume the strapping goes through that section there. Uh, and let's yeah, open this up. Right then, we've got a, uh, what have we got? Little screen here that's got a peel off cover on it as well. Uh, controls for that. How do you turn that? Oh, there's a power on button switch down there. USB that's for the USB cable. That's I assume so you could plug it straight into your computer or whatever without having to take the memory card out. There's a memory card slot just there, which is a what's that? My oh, it says it's a TF, so that's micro, micro SD. In fact, I've pulled one out of another, another one of my security cameras out in the garden. Uh, so that'll be hopefully one of those type of uh, memory cards. I'll try and fit that in later. Uh, and that'll be a battery compartment. So a bit difficult to get into, but there you go. So that takes eight A4 batteries, which uh, conveniently I've got uh, some Amazon ones that came came in the post before Christmas, not used yet. So I shall feed those into there and. Uh, Boot it up and see how we get on. I need to find somewhere to put it into the uh, into the garden. It'll uh, capture as much uh, wildlife as possible, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, I've put eight AA batteries in the uh, in the machine. Um, I've also put a uh, 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card into there. Now we've got a power on and off button here with test as well. Now off is clearly off. On is for when you've got it in situ where you want to be recording wildlife. It turns off the, the screen. 
um, test is where you want it to be when you are setting up the camera, as I'm going to show you now. So you've got some simple commands here. Uh, menu gets you into this, uh, this screen here, which has got quite a lot of uh, menus I'm quite impressed with. Uh, mode, you can choose whether you want to just take photos, just take videos, or take both. I've got, got it set up to both. It will fill, fill your uh, memory card up, but I've got a big memory card, so that's fine. Pressing menu takes you back. Uh, and then I'll cycle through these uh, options, see what you've got. I'll set it to maximum resolution. Uh, photo series is so you can have a burst of photographs, which I've got it set to. Video resolution, again, I've set it to the maximum. Um, TL, that's um, time, uh, uh, time lapse. That sort of sets the uh, quality of the time lapse. Uh, video length, you can set it in seconds or minutes. I've just got it, it defaults to five seconds. I've got it set to 10 seconds. Um, audio recording, whether you want it on or off, I've got it set to on, so I can hear the owl tweeting and tooting. Uh, shot lag, um, that is uh, once it's triggered and recorded, and that's how long it will be before it um, uh, gets triggered again. You can have that set in minutes or seconds. Uh, infrared distance, far near or medium, side motion sensor, that's what used to be for. These two things here are uh, triggered, uh, triggered by motion off to the side, whereas that one's to the front. Uh, you can turn those off if you've got something like branches um, or foliage or whatever that swings in front of the uh, uh, the sensors and could keep on doing false recording. So that's that's quite useful. I like that. Um, the sensitivity of motion sensors, that's um, sensitive or low. Uh, target recording time, nice, is good. This, if you set it on, um, means uh, it'll only record or get get uh, triggered to record uh, during certain times. And that's useful because me and the dog are usually out in the garden running around chasing footballs until late in the night. So uh, uh, I quite like the fact I can do that. So I've set it till 10 till eight in the morning. So that's on. Uh, we've got time lapse. Um, what language we've got, endless capture. So that will just uh, eat your memory card up pretty quickly. But if you want to record fully, that's uh, that's useful. Time and date. And whether you want it uh, the that time and date over stamped onto your uh, your footage, don't normally have it on, but it will mean that I can uh, work out what time certain animals are in the garden. So I'll keep it on for now. Password protection, beep sound. That's just the pressing the buttons whether they beep or not. I've turned it off. Uh, when you first put a memory card in, you will need to format it. So you go to this one that'll format your card for you, and then just some serial numbers and reset settings and stuff like that. So it's got quite a few options. I'm uh, quite impressed with that. I think we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get this set up then. So uh, let's see how uh, how good it is. Okay, you can find somewhere to put it. Got a bird table over there we could put it. That's what would normally be setting off the motion detection. Uh, and we have foxes that come through the gap in the, uh, the hedge just there. So we might have set it up somewhere around here. Okay, we've installed it here we get uh, foxes coming through that uh, hedge just there and uh, going across the garden over towards the, uh, the bird feeder over there so let's see what we get hey dog come on stop.
So, summary time. The uh, Zimochi wildlife camera. Well, we've had it a week now. I've moved it around several locations in the garden. Uh, and you know what, it's been quite quite good fun to see what uh, what we've captured, going down every morning and whipping the uh, memory card out and sticking it into this laptop just to uh, to see what we might have found overnight. It's been quite exciting, really. Now, I've actually not actually seen anything I didn't know we already had, but it's just quite nice to see things in a different perspective, you know? So uh, we've caught robins and um, blue tits and blackbirds and plenty of squirrels and uh, the big fat pigeons, as I said at the start of the video. Uh, and uh, if you've watched the video all the way through, you can, uh, I've left in uh, footage of myself and the dog and my wife running around with the, uh, with the hound chasing balls, just to show you what fast moving images look like in the uh, uh, in, in the daylight and in the uh, night time uh, you always have to take uh, the advertising images uh, on the Amazon uh, uh, web page for a product with a pretty uh, liberal pinch of salt uh, they always show an extremely high quality 8k image of a wildebeest roaming majestic, majestically across some uh, Serengeti plain but uh, it's never quite like that uh, the, uh, the camera footage is, is a bit grainy at times uh, any fast moving images is blurry the frame rate isn't particularly brilliant so things skip along a little bit but yeah don't expect to be uh, broadcasting onto a spring watch or something like that I just put it that way but for home use and just a bit of fun it's, it's really quite good now a few things I'd take or take away um, the fact that you've got to take the memory card out uh, to download it onto your laptop once twice it's fine whatever but if, if you do it every day it gets a bit repetitive there are models i've seen on amazon which have got a wi-fi function so you can connect your mobile phone or laptop or something to and download it without having to take the memory card out that i think is worthwhile there are also uh, high resolution image cameras available this is a 1080p 16 mega uh, megapixels i've seen ones 20 megapixels and above that's probably worth considering as well for the money though, forty-seven ninety-nine as uh, as advertised at the moment with a ten percent voucher. I see if you click the uh, click that. So we're about that forty-two, forty-three pound. Yeah, it's it's it's, real, it's worth a punt. Bear in mind you're going to need eight batteries. Um, now I've had mine in operation a week. Uh, I use standard AA Amazon batteries, and the battery indicators always said they're getting down to it's probably about three quarters, something like that. Uh, it could get expensive with batteries if you're using it. Uh, well, uh, at the start of the video you saw that I'd got it set up for uh, 10 seconds recording only uh, between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. in the morning after a couple of nights and I was getting very little I thought mm, no let's do it 24 hours a day and uh, every recording was one minute and that's why it's et through the uh, uh, through the batteries also uh, I've recorded about 70 gigabytes of data um, now I had a 64 gigabyte memory card which uh, put about 15 20 pounds um, that's from uh, an entire week's worth of footage, uh, but I have been downloading it every day. But you're going to need a decent sized memory card, at least 32 gigabytes, maybe 64 gigabytes, uh, something like a SanDisk or a Samsung, they're always pretty good. Um, so cost doesn't do mount up. Uh, now I do have some Energizer AA lithium batteries, which uh, I think if I'm going to use this continuously, I'm going to stick those in there because those batteries should last a lot longer than standard alkaline batteries. So that's worth considering as well, but they're not cheap. They're about £1.50 uh, a pop. So uh, you're looking at quite a bit of money, was that 12 quid uh, to uh, power this thing up. That's, uh, it, it soon mounts up. But it's a good bit of fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed testing it, and I'm going to keep it uh, mounted in the garden. See what else we can pick up. We never know. We might get something, uh, simply something a bit more exciting. We have had um, woodpeckers, and uh, we get sparrowhawks, and uh, there is there is a peacock that actually lives not too far from me. You never know. It might come landing in the garden. If I capture a red kite, I'll be well made up. But oh, I'm, I'm quite happy with things. Uh, things that aren't perhaps a good. Um, the the microphone. Uh, and I've noticed from the sound, you, you can hear muffled sounds of things landing on the camera and uh, a little bit of munching and very high pitched sque um, squeals and squeaks or whatever from the uh, robins and what have you. But it doesn't pick up speech, things like that. Uh, uh, I, there's, a, there's a bit of footage in the video you might have seen where I'm talking to the camera in, in the night and you can barely hear me. Um, I, I did that deliberately, I wanted to see if it could actually pick, pick me, my sound up, but you couldn't. Um, I don't know why that is, I don't know if there's fault with the microphone or something's covering the microphone slot. In fact, I don't actually know where the microphone is on it, so uh, uh, that you're not gonna get um, 
chitter chatter of birds and squirrels and whatever very very clearly on it if uh, if, it, if it isn't a fault um but otherwise i've been quite impressed i mean the menu the menu functionality on it was really good i was able to set it up to just how i wanted it to be i was quite 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 impressed with that really quite good so on the whole 47.99 factory another 15 quid for a memory card and between five and 12 pounds for batteries depending on which which you go for um it's mounts up but it's a good bit of fun and it'll be a great great present for someone at, uh, at christmas for uh, someone who's uh, who's into their bird watching i know my mum's uh, shown a lot of interest i've sent her some of the photographs and she's uh, she's quite excited about what i'm going to send send to her next so uh, that could be an idea for uh, for a future present for her but uh, no i've i've enjoyed i've enjoyed the last week of uh, seeing what's uh, what's on the camera so uh, yeah I'd, I'd recommend it as a bit of a bit of a bit of fun and games yeah thanks for watching